Hi, I'm Camilla Blossom from Earth Magic. And I want to thank you very much for tuning in with me. Today, we're going to be talking about planting trees of life and listening to what the trees say about that. And so I want to also thank all of you for joining me, for subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting. I really appreciate all your beautiful comments and contributions um, and connections. We're really making community here. So the trees came in and gave me this message, which I'm going to share with you. And it's about how we can plant trees and bring through that energy of a tree of life, which is very sacred. It's part of many traditions around the world is how the trees and this tree of life um, really represents creation, it represents oneness, represents healing and um, wholeness at this time of great change. So they can really help us if we work co-creatively with the trees, their spirits, and all the beings that are part of their lives and ours. So the trees tell us that we are conduits of energy between heaven and earth. We broadcast our energy up and out through our branches and deep into the earth through our roots. Please plant a rose quartz crystal in our roots when you plant a tree so we can absorb the crystalline energy and broadcast this energy of divine love and light for future generations on earth. We absorb the emanations of love from our sister goddess, the rose quartz crystal, and we receive the crystalline charged rainwater through our branches leaves, flowers, and fruit. We receive crystalline charged groundwater up through our roots to nourish our being with light. All love and light circulate within our trunk. We broadcast our energy far and wide through our branches, high in the sky and out in the cosmos. We send our energies deep into the mother earth for her nourishment and to all that is seeding or resting or moving within her. We create new seeds of creation, flowers of ascension and fruit to nourish other beings. The tree of life is a symbol of all of creation, true unity. It carries the ancient codes of healing. The family tree of all beings is the tree of life. We are family, humans, animals, plants, minerals, star beings. When we plant trees with our heart in unity, we create opportunity to expand the emanation of unity for all as we are all one. So plant a rose quartz crystal in our roots and make your offerings, your prayers, your songs, and your dances that we become a tree of life and a living symbol of unity of all of creation and that we can become forests of life for the new earth. So beautiful. And you know, I first heard about this practice and in this case, the trees talked about the rose quartz, but you're welcome to use other crystals like clear quartz or any other that the tree is asking for or that you're feeling would be um, good for that tree. But I first heard this practice um, from the Native Americans of the U.S. And they um, would do this. They would plant crystals when they planted trees in order to um, gather that crystalline energy more readily into the tree from the earth, um, from her crystalline grid, and then into the tree and into its crystalline nature, and then allow that to be, like they say in this message, to broadcast the crystalline energy all around. And so it can be all around, you know, the yard, your home, um, where you live, and also into the whole area um, where you are on earth. So it's, when I first heard of that, I just thought, oh my gosh, that's like such a beautiful practice. 
And um, so I have planted trees that way. I've also planted um, vegetables and flowers and other plants using little crystals in there. Um, and that really activates them as well. So I know the plants love to work with crystals and grow better. So that's like a, um, a master plant food for the energy nourishment um, and delight of the plants. And then the plants get to fully represent and be their crystalline magic optimal nature too. So I encourage you to consider that if you're doing any kind of planting, um, placing the crystals in there and do that with prayer and love and honoring. And um, you'll have very healthy um, trees in no time at all. And also what a beautiful legacy to leave for our children um, to have these plants and trees that carry um, this amazing intention from their grandmothers and grandfathers and mothers and fathers. So thank you. Trees are really happy to share and want this to be spread. So please do share this with others. And um, if you'd like to go into um, more wisdom teachings, earth-based teachings, how you would do these practices for the land, for the, um, for the plants, for the waters, um, check out my website at camillablossom.com and my Patreon community under Camilla Blossom. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.